Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. So, bad news for West Ham United fans, bad news for West Ham United in general. UEFA have taken their discipline action for what happened in Genk, and the decision as is fine for West Ham United is roughly £30,000, um, two different violations uh, that they've charged West Ham for, one for conduct of the fans and the other one for objects that were thrown onto the pitch. But more importantly, perhaps for the fans especially, is that the, we are banned from attending the game next Thursday against Rapid Vienna. West Ham are due to play Rapid Vienna next Thursday, 25th of November. There'll be no away fans. Uh, West Ham is, essentially, the ban is West Ham are banned from selling tickets to away fans, to West Ham fans. It's disappointing news. Um, I wasn't going. I'm not going to sit here and pretend I've lost loads of money and I was going and gutted and stuff like that. I'm gutted for those that were going because, well, why wouldn't you? You know, we've got it's the third group game. Lots of people going to Vienna that weren't at Genk or Zagreb. So it's their first away game to see West Ham European football. You know, people might not have this opportunity again. I'm aware we're in the next round, but people might not be able to attend that one, whether it's money, time, whatever. Um, it's been taken away from them as well. And I think it's ridiculous. I think it's, it seems extremely harsh. Um, there's only one thing that makes me think fair enough. I'll get onto that in just a second. But the timing of it is just ridiculous because there's just no notice. Fans have gone through heartache and ball ache and gone those what else ache in order to book Vienna up. And then they've had it taken away from them at the last minute. And they're punishing the majority for the actions of the minority, really, aren't they? You know, it only takes a handful of fans in order for the UEFA to come down on them. And usually flares and stuff like that. Usually that gets applauded for atmosphere. You know, Dortmund played Ajax in the Champions League three, four weeks ago, and there was literally fireworks shooting out of the stands. And do you know something? I'm all for it. I think it looks good. It sounds fantastic. looks fantastic kind of thing. And it just, this band seems very OTT. It seems very dramatic by UEFA. Um, the only thing I sort of do understand it to some extent is that... Um, when we played Rapid Vienna at the London Stadium, there was obviously trouble then, and both clubs got fined. Both clubs were, were fined 90,000 euros, I think, or 45,000 each and 90 in total. But both, both both clubs got fined for the actions of the fans, but the Vienna fans got banned from going to Zagreb. Um, the Rapid Vienna fans were not allowed to attend the game in Zagreb. So what it does do, to some extent, is it shows consistency. I think it's harsh on West Ham, but I also think it's harsh for Rapid Vienna. However, if they're going to punish Rapid Vienna with that, I guess they've then got to follow the suit and punish West Ham the same way. But I do think there was one thing that, um, that could have been done, which is we've, we're guaranteed, we are guaranteed to be in the knockout stages of the Europa League in some form. It might be the next round, which is the last 24. It might be the last 16. We're yet to see. It's probably going to be the last 16. But regardless of which it is, we have another knockout game of Europa League coming up. There's going to be at least one more away game after the Rapid Vienna game. Ban West Ham fans for that. Just ban them from that one because nobody has spent money. Because, yes, the club have got their... We're fine. The club are going to miss... You know, the team's going to miss the fans in, in Vienna. Of course they are. But the people here that are going to get punished are... I hate the term, believe it or not, but I'm going to go with it. The working class West Ham fans, the ones that have scripted and saved to go over there, they're looking forward to it. The buzzing to go see West Ham, they're the ones that are getting punished somewhat financially as well. Not just the opportunity of a memory, opportunity of seeing a West Ham play in European football, which is massive and, you know, in my lifetime, rare. Um, that's getting taken away. But it's the money as well. If they're getting hit financially. What do you do now? They're left in limbo. And it's already been. A ball ache, hasn't it? You know, I've seen people in the last couple of days getting extremely confused, if you like, as to what's going on with Austria because they've put they've gone into mini lockdown themselves at the minute with the unvaccinated people over there. So Austria is already sort of under pressure with COVID. So naturally, if people are traveling there next Thursday, hang on a minute, what form do you need to fill out? What tests do you need to take? Um, you know, you almost need a blooming university degree to get into Austria at the minute if you're a West Ham fan. So they've had all this pressure and hassle and they're trying to get things sorted and straightened out so they can go over there and it's just been for nothing in the end you know you wait for punished west ham and like i said to some extent i can understand the punishment because they have to be consistent they punish the rapid vienna fans for something similar they've got to then punish west ham fans and it's the second 
you know, this isn't the first time we've been in trouble this season with UEFA. It's the second time. So I sort of half get it. But I don't get why it's this game. I don't get why. Um, I, I don't know. I just don't get why, they, why they've got to punish the fans. I, I just think they could have made it the knockout ones. And then that way, no fans have booked anything. No one's going to move, move miss out financially. What I will say, though, is that um, I hope the club do right here. Obviously, there's nothing the club can do. The club didn't know this was coming. I'm not blaming West Ham United at all. Before someone suggests I am, I'm not. But this presents an opportunity for West Ham to do something right for the fan base. For those that were going, first of all, they will refund their tickets in hard cash into their bank accounts, no club cash kind of thing. But second of all, help them a little bit, um, whether it's, I don't know how, before someone suggests how, but in regards to getting refunds on hotels or flights or even financially giving, giving fans £50 per head or something that we're going to go that can't go kind of thing, because most, I say the majority, and it's possibly 100% of them, but certainly at least 98% of them are something stupid for plucking a figure out of thin air. I've done nothing wrong. You know, they, they they haven't contributed to this punishment from UEFA. They're the ones that are going to be missing out and it's going to be difficult to get their flights cancelled, the hotels refunded and stuff. And there's some people now who've got a decision to make. Do they not go and they've just got to say goodbye to all that money they've spent or do they go anyway? Um, obviously, there's some West Ham fans with tickets in the neutral areas. Um, Vienna had two sections next to the away fans, funny enough, which was a neutral section and West Ham fans have obviously purchased tickets for that. Which would I assume means they can that lot of people can still go. So there'll be still be plenty of West Ham fans at the game. But those in the way and with tickets from the club. I just hope the club do something. Um I just I just hope the club do something for the fans that are missing out. Well, I, like I said, I don't know how. And it's easy for me to sit here. I'm not the one that's financially gonna have to pay out, and it will cost the club quite a bit of money. But I do think there's an opportunity for the club to do something in order to help the fans affected. I've seen Declan Rice has done a tweet. Um, obviously, people in the live chat, there's a couple of people sort of mentioned it as well, saying that um, you know Declan's done a tweet that's been taken down. And I've got it here. Declan Rice quoted it. It was from a journalist announcing that UEFA had banned West Ham, blah, blah. And Declan quoted it and said, laughable this is, gutted for our fans that won't now make the trip. Did Rapid Vienna get fined or a ban of tickets for their crowd disturbances? Nope. Like I said... He, they did, but we obviously don't know about it. Why would we? But they did get that. But I'm not going to nitpick Declan's tweet. What I'm going to do is praise it. I think to see that from Declan Rice is fantastic. Like I said, factually incorrect, but I didn't know Rapid Vienna had been banned until tonight because I went to double check before doing this video. So I would be factually correct. Um, but it's good to see that um, Declan, it's good to see Declan Rice sticking on for West Ham fans and, and calling this decision out really because sometimes we lack a little bit of that in the game whether you want to call it character or personality or whatever sometimes footballers can be a bit detached from the fan base if you like but to see that from who is at the minute our captain why else not our club captain he's captain in most games at the minute to see him come out and basically say no I'm not having this we're going to miss the fans what's going on this a bit harsh and stuff like that it's good to see it now he has deleted it he has deleted it, but it doesn't really matter, does it? I think if I do a tweet or you do a tweet and we delete it, it's not really a big deal, is it? People are hardly going to notice it. But obviously, as soon as Dec someone is prominent, as Declan Rice does one, gets screenshotted, Declan deletes it, but it's still out there. It still gets all the retweets and that. Someone else gets the, the interaction engagement rather than Declan Rice. But I understand why he's deleted it. If the club would have told him immediately to get that down, it's controversial. Might land Declan in a little bit of trouble with UEFA. And like I said, factually incorrect. But it doesn't really matter, does it? What we've seen is Declan Rice sticking up for West Ham fans and being willing to put his neck on the line. I love it. I absolutely love that Declan Rice has done that. Um, because too often people just say nothing. No, don't worry about it. It's just the fans, whatever like that. It's almost like you look down on them a little bit. But it's good to see if Declan had a bit of balls. But yeah. Gutted. Like I said, I'm generally gutted for the fans that were going. I know people. Um, I'm friends with people that were going out to Vienna. It's been a ball ache for them. They booked their flights. They booked their hotel. Not even knowing if they were going to get a ticket. Not even knowing what the COVID situation was going to be. But they wanted to go see West Ham away in Europe. And they couldn't wait to go. They managed to get match tickets and stuff for the way. And they're buzzing. And it's been taken away from them at UEFA. Um, I don't know. I can't imagine what it feels like. You know, It's almost like 
Christmas getting cancelled for an eight-year-old or something like that. Um, anyway, I'm going to take a couple of comments and then I'm going to wrap it up. Really, I just want to do a little reaction video because I did your video today. I've got videos for tomorrow. Might even, might have two because they need slightly edited, but I think they're good topics. Uh, Caroline is just saying it's because of the plane incident. You have no authority over incidents outside of football matches, so the banners for crowd disturbances. Um, Pete saying it's because other teams fear playing us, trying to upset our camp. It's all propaganda, like the King Bobby Moore meant to have stolen back in the sixties World Cup. It was all rubbish. Um, Stuart saying, so all that ag was started by them lot watching Green Street. <laughs> it's possible. It's very possible. Um, Kevin saying, better get a wiggle on your way for, for a few loons from Zagreb, but mob up with their guy Fox. It'll, it'll be, remember, the 9th of December. Um, Thunder saying the club need to back the fans. I think I think so. I don't know if they can. Um, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if they can appeal or not. Um, Pete saying that these countries hate the English. Um some of them want to come and live here. Um, Garino says, start a class action against the UEFA. He's no lawyer, but there must be some sort of law against collective punishment at such short notice when tickets have already been purchased. See, I was going to say, the wording of UEFA is a bit weird, isn't it? Because UEFA said we're banning the ticket sales, but they've already been sold. So typically, the club wouldn't be selling any. I know it's just the wording. I'm nitpicking and stuff, but it's just... Uh, Michael saying, are you ever done this because Hamas Champions sort of sort for content they're giving you? <laughs> um, to be honest with you, it's not something loads to talk about, but it's one of those things that it gets you back up a little bit. And like I said, I do like I said, I half get it, but I just think to do it when fans have already pledged their hard-earned cash and stuff, you're punishing the fans. You're not punishing anyone else here. You're not punishing West Ham United. Sure, they'd wish their way in was full. But financially, the club aren't going to be that bothered. And, and do you know what I mean? They'll get on with their lives. Tomorrow, the club will wake up and carry on as normal. But the one and a half thousand West Ham fans with tickets in the way end right now are having to decide. They're having to look up their flight details, their hotel details. Can we get cancellation? Can we get our money back? If not, what we're going to do? And then what are you going to do if you're going out there with a mate and one of your mates can get you a re get a refund, but you can't? Then what? It, it just causes so much aggro. And it's just... I feel gutted. I genuinely feel really gutted. You know, Jordan's saying the same thing. He feels really sorry for a normal fan not involved in Ruckus. Let him feel the team's fire. Go and destroy them on their home turf. Um, but yeah, there you go. You, Dan just saying that UEFA doesn't care about the football fans. And I think this, I think they've demonstrated that today. But like I said, this does, I often think when there's bad news and there's bad things going on, I often think it yields opportunities for someone or some people or something. There's opportunities to be found. And I think tonight, this news is devastating and it won't help, you know, the fans that were going. It's They still can't go. But I think this presents an opportunity for the football club to get some good PR here, to whether they stand by the fans and say, oh, hang on a minute, this is this UEFA punishment's harsh. But like I said, financially stick by your fans and reach out to them and just say they know who's going. They've got all the ticket details and stuff. And just make sure that either A, they're able to work out how to get refunds and stuff. Because I've seen people on Twitter saying they're a certain age and they don't, they're not very, they can barely do a tweet. Never mind all these forms to fill in and stuff and going to Austria. I know some someone will say, well, that's the decision. Of course it is. But seeing West Ham in Europe is a special occasion. I understand why you're willing to struggle if you like so i'd just like to see west ham try and set something up that they can help the fans try and get refunds if needed and if they can i don't know like a small financial gesture from the club towards the fans that were going to go so they don't miss out too much money wise and they can get to the next game um in european football because it's a special time it's a special season and this is just a sour taste in the mouth but i do think west ham can turn this into a good thing as well anyway i'm going to wrap it up there be back tomorrow morning actually the video will be up tomorrow morning um, it's, it's a bit different It's international but It's a bit different But I think it's quite good I think it's a good video Anyway um, Enjoy this video Drop a like on it um, Subscribe if you're new to the channel I'll catch you in a bit